Hey folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create custom round feature based on the surface modeling. I have prepared simply surfaces, so over here you can see three surfaces and over here between these two surfaces we would like to create our custom round. We will start with creating points and first point will be placed on the edge. The system will specify the next end, so I'd like to go from the opposite direction. And you can see that right now the system plays as ratio. So for example, on the 10% of the length, you can specify 0.1. If you would like to place the point in the middle of the curve, so it means 0.5. But I do not want to use the ratio, I'd like to use the real values. So, for example, if you will specify 0.5, I will jump here. And the next point, again, you can set with your custom value. I will place the another points, so you can set up your custom values. My default value is OK. Four points are created, and between these four, four points, we would like to create a necessary round. So for every round, you know that it is necessary to, to create a datum curve and between two selected points, select two points regarding with control button or selecting control button and in the right mouse button you can specify if you would like to use the tangent connection or curvature. I will start with tangent and then I will select the curve. I would like to continue here, so again right mouse button and curve. The shape of the curve will continue in this direction as arrow, so everything is OK. And we would like to go on the opposite side here. And again, we will create new datum curve between point 6 and 7. I will define the tangent connection to selected line. And again, over here, I'd like to use the tangent connection to selected line. Again, it's going good direction. If you will select arrow opposite side, you can see that arrow is going the opposite direction. It's not good. You can change. This connection is again possible to specify in end condition. So select start point and specify tangent curvature or free here and same for the end points. It's up to you. The first selected point is start point. The second one was end point. Fine. First, two curves are created. If I will switch on the date templates and I would like to project the curve. So we can directly select the function project and I would like to use the project as sketch. We will define the sketch directly and if I come from sketch, the system will spin the model. If you don't like the orientation, how it's defined. You can directly use the sketch and change, for example, that you would like to go like here and it will be better for orientation. If you would like to spin the model, no problem, sketch and specify the flip and then the system will flip the orientation. Yeah? Because we would like to project between these two edges or selected points. So as the reference, I will select point 6 and point 4. Why is it good? Right now we can remove the references what was selected as default and then directly into D, if I will orient into D and I will switch off the point, two references are directly selected. So easy to see the references in the sketch. What you can do is define the spline so the system will jump directly from the reference and then you can create your custom shape. If you come from OK, what the system asks you is the surface where you would like to project the curve. So on the surface I'd like to project and again the system asks me about which direction. So I'd like to select this direction as the direction for the projection. 
you can see that system really nicely and smoothly create projection of the curve on the surface. So one more time, we would like to create projection here between point 0.5 and 7. We will create project as project the sketch. Sketch plan will be this one here. Right now you can see how the system will orient. So for example, this one will be go down and this surface will go right. So we can directly select, for example, bottom and the system will spin how you need. Then, again, with the references, you can directly select point 0.5 and 7, and the default references you can delete, and hide datum features. If you will create a spline between point 0.5, so right now you can specify your custom shape of the round feature. If you will finish the spline, you can double click and then later you can modify the shape of the spline and you can visualize the curvature analysis tool and create smooth shape of the spline yeah, based on the density and about the scale. So simply and easy you can modify the line and see how smoothly it will goes. We can confirm the spline creation and then finish OK. What again the system asks me is regarding surface. So I would like to project on this surface and along direction from this datum plane. Again, you can see the final curve projection and finish OK. Perfect. So four curves are defined and based on these four curves I'd like to focus and create on the boundary blend. In the boundary blend we would like to select the first direction and for example with control button you will select these two curves but you can see that system will create a straight line. So in the second direction we would like to go through the first curve and second curve. How the curves are definite? Yes, you are right. This curve has been definite as tangent, so the surface can be tangent. And again, over here is definition as the tangent, so surface can be tangent and will be possible to finish. We have created, created additional surface and right now we will plane with the merge feature. We will select the existing boundary and surface and you can use the merge feature. You remember from the last video tutorial that it is possible to change the arrow. You can have a look how it looks like and you can place with these arrows and check the shape. This selection is really good so you can finish and right now you can check by analysis tool, for example, the shaded curvature of the quilt. If you use the right mouse button, the system automatically jump from surface selection to quilt. And you can see how smoothly the surface is defined. The analysis is the reflection. So how the system will look like if you will create a light or you will use the lights on the selected surface. So maybe you would like to create these surfaces much smoothly because you can see here that it's going as the sharp edges. What is possible to do is possible to select and edit define the first curve and don't use the tangent but curvature. And again, you can see the curvature at the end and same for the curve too. Please select curvature and curvature. At the end, the boundary blend can be changed. So edit definition and we would like to use the curvature connection between two surfaces. 
and again the surfaces. If curve is connected as tangent, surface can be tangent. Or if it is possible to use curvature at the end of the curve, then surface can be connected as the curvature. If you will finish and you will use for example again the reflection you will see the smooth connection between connected surface yeah it's perfect it's really nice and if you use the shaded curvature and with control button you will see that system will go through one surface to another one smoothly so over here is direct smooth connection between surfaces so over here in this example you have learned how to work with curve how to use the boundary feature and analyze this feature for surfaces shaded curvature or reflection stay tuned bye bye Vladimir